The authors present a comprehensive study on revisiting hate speech benchmarks, focusing on data curation and system deployment. They introduce Got Hate, a large scale code mixed crowdsourced dataset for hate speech detection from Twitter, comprising around 51,000 posts. Got Hate is neutrally seeded, covering different languages and topics, and is designed to mimic real world variability of hate speech. The authors argue that existing hate speech datasets are limited relying on hate lexicons and keyword-based approaches, which neglect the context and topical information of the posts. They identify the need for a dataset that captures nuanced and realistic aspects of online hateful discourse. Got Hate addresses this gap by incorporating seven assorted topics, three geographies, and three languages, with a neutral seating policy to reduce topic bias. The authors benchmark got hate against 10 baseline models and propose a novel model, Henembert, which augments multilingual BERT with endogenous signals. Henembert incorporates users' historical data, exemplary tweets, and social connections via the ego network to enhance hate speech detection. Experimental results show that Henembert outperforms the best baseline by 2.5% and 5% in macro F1 and hate class F1, respectively. The authors also explore the importance of incorporating endogenous signals, such as user posting history and social connections, to improve hate speech detection. They argue that content moderators should consider contextual information, including who is posting what, to make more accurate classifications. The study contributes to the development of a semi-automated pipeline for detecting hateful content, currently under development in collaboration with Wipro AI. The authors provide detailed guidelines for annotation and introduce a new category of provocation. They also make the source code and sample dataset publicly available, with the full dataset available to researchers upon request. The research aims to revisit hate speech benchmarks by replicating metadata-rich dashboards for content moderators. It focuses on hateful content on Twitter, collecting tweets into four categories, hate, offensive, provocative, and neutral. The dataset, Got Hate, consists of 51,367 tweets across seven socio-political events in the USA, UK, and India. The authors introduce an order of priority for labels, defining hate as extreme bias against vulnerable groups. They also define offensive and provocative content, emphasizing the importance of considering the context and potential impact. The annotation process involved two phases, with an average agreement of 0.71 Krippendorf's alpha. The dataset is compared with existing benchmarks, showing a lower interclass divergence, making it challenging to classify. The study highlights the need for a more nuanced understanding of hate speech, particularly in the context of Indian topical diversity. The research revisits hate speech benchmarks, focusing on data curation and system deployment. It compares the performance of various hate speech datasets, including Got Hate, Fanta, Davidson, HASOC19, OLED, Hadaval, Imp Hate, and Retina. The analysis shows that Got Hate has the lowest macro F1 and Matthews correlation coefficient, MCC, scores among the datasets, indicating a challenge in classifying hateful content. Adversarial validation is also performed to compare existing datasets with Got Hate showing a narrow range of ROCAUC and MCC scores, suggesting varying feature spaces. The study hypothesizes that neutrally seeded datasets like Got Hate should perform better than lexicon-driven counterparts. To improve detection, a modular mixture of expert setup called Henembert is introduced, which enriches textual representations with ancillary signals. The architecture includes an exemplar module for stylistic and thematic cues, a timeline module for historical data insights, and a graph module for ego network interactions. These modules enhance the input embeddings via cross-modal attention, ultimately improving the detection of hateful content. The paper presents a comprehensive analysis of various models for hate speech detection, with a focus on the proposed Henembert model. This model integrates endogenous signals such as user-level ego networks, historical interactions, and exemplars to enhance contextual understanding in detecting hate speech. The evaluation of Henembert and its variants demonstrates significant improvements over traditional and neural baselines, particularly for the harder-to-classify classes of hate and provocation.
Combining all three auxiliary signals in Hennembert results in the highest improvement in the hate class and overall performance. The paper also outlines a content moderation pipeline that leverages these findings, aiming to flag and analyze harmful content on the web in real time. The authors propose a novel approach to hate speech detection, introducing the geopolitical topical hate, got hate, dataset, a multi-class hate speech dataset that covers assorted topics across different languages with minimal slur terms. The dataset is designed to account for topical heterogeneity and linguistic diversity, which is often overlooked in existing hate speech detection methods. The authors employ the history exemplar network infused MBERT, Hennembert, model, a mixture of experts that subsumes endogenous knowledge in MBERT to perform contextually rich hate speech detection. The model is capable of detecting hate speech in a more nuanced and comprehensive manner. The paper also presents a pipeline for semi-automated flagging of hateful content, which involves querying the user's timeline and user interaction to extract their most recent footprint, as well as querying the existing exemplar base to obtain the exemplar. The combination of incoming posts and auxiliary signals is employed for contextual hate speech detection. The authors conducted an error analysis of MBERT and Hennembert, analyzing examples of correct classification, misclassification, and mislabeling. The results demonstrate the effectiveness of the proposed approach in detecting hate speech. The paper provides a comprehensive review of existing hate speech detection methods, including feature engineered logistic regression, non contextual embedding combined with vanilla CNN and LSTM, and transformer based language models. The authors also discuss the limitations of existing datasets, such as the focus on explicit forms of hate speech and the lack of topical heterogeneity and linguistic diversity. The authors acknowledge the support of the Prime Minister Doctoral Fellowship, Serb India, and the Wipro Research Grant. They also thank their industry partner Wipro AI for coordinating the field study for possible deployment. Overall, the paper presents a significant contribution to the field of hate speech detection introducing a novel dataset and approach that can detect hate speech in a more nuanced and comprehensive manner. The paper revisits hate speech benchmarks, focusing on the challenges in data curation and system deployment. It discusses various benchmark datasets for hate speech detection, including Got Hate, Fanta, Davidson, HASOC19, OLED, Hadaval, Imp Hate, and Retina. These datasets vary in their label distribution and aspects of hatefulness and offense covered. The authors also extend their experiments to employ MBERT, a transformer model, and observe similar patterns as detailed in Section 4. The paper highlights the importance of understanding the interclass similarity within a hate dataset using maximum mean discrepancy, MMD, via MBERT embeddings. It also emphasizes the need for a more neurosymbolic approach that integrates common sense knowledge, factual analysis, and stereotyping motives for better hate detection. The authors emphasize the ethical considerations, ensuring that the datasets and pertained language models are used responsibly and do not harm vulnerable groups. They discuss limitations such as the subjective nature of hate and the lack of standard definitions, and the challenges in collecting and tagging large-scale datasets. The research revisits hate speech benchmarks, focusing on data curation and system deployment. It presents a cross-dataset performance comparison among Got Hate, HASOC19, and Retina using MBERT as the base model. The results show that Hennembert, incorporating past signals, achieves a 6-point increase in macro F1 for the hate class compared to MBERT. The study emphasizes the importance of contextual information particularly user timelines and recent interactions, for adequate classification. It highlights the imbalance in performance of baseline methods, optimizing either precision or recall, and proposes a more balanced approach. The evaluation focuses on class-wise and overall F1, as accuracy is not a viable metric due to label skew. The results demonstrate the effectiveness of contextual embedding-based systems, including Hennembert, in achieving a more balanced precision and recall leading to higher F1 for the hate class. The paper revisits hate speech benchmarks, focusing on data curation and system deployment. 
It presents a comparative analysis of two models the proposed model and a logistic regression LR, model in terms of their performance in detecting hate speech. The proposed model is found to have a more balanced precision recall curve per class, ensuring no group or class is penalized more than others. This model also exhibits higher user overlap with the annotated set, indicating a higher number of true positives. Although the proposed model gives more false positives for hate classification, this does not necessarily imply overfitting. Instead, it suggests that the model is more aggressive in predicting hatefulness, which could be beneficial in real-world scenarios as moderators can flag false positives in the final reporting. The logistic regression model, on the other hand, has lower user overlap and tends to consider everything neutral, resulting in a lower performance for hate classification. The study highlights the importance of considering both precision and recall in evaluating hate speech detection models, as well as the need for aggressive prediction of hatefulness to protect targeted groups. The paper concludes that while the proposed model shows improved performance, there is still a low overall performance for hate classification, emphasizing the need for further research in this area.